la la it's quite um a little bit warm today outside and i'm just here and i want to do this video in regard to one of you who asked me a question regarding caregiver jobs the salary you wanted to know about the salary and also you say that uh an agent is telling you in kenya to pay 150k okay uh to get the job and i want just to give you an overview and also an observation of course i've never worked as a caregiver but directly but i have worked with agents who are hiring or maybe i have worked with companies who are hiring especially the nanny jobs uh babysitting jobs and others and i right now i'm not working with them so i'm not in the recruitment part because of various reasons okay Mm, the reason maybe one of the major reason why i stopped working it is because the of the because of what because of the government restriction when it comes to actually uh, foreign rules like the immigrants because in turkey they so stopped issuing uh what we call their work permit and it was very difficult uh situation because bringing girls here uh, on a touristic visa and then later they are denied the work permit or the resident and then they get in trouble in terms of actually being deported or maybe in terms of actually not being hired that was a major issue that actually made me feel like i don't need to do this but right now we are working together with um, some few agencies of of course maybe in a few months or maybe inshallah when they everything is done i'm going to give you an update and you guys you know that if you are actually following me or maybe if you are sending me a message uh you will be the first people to receive the information regarding those jobs now uh when it comes to caregiving jobs i want you to be very careful because here so many agents especially who are in Turkey or are in Kenya they are lying to people telling them oh you're going to be paid in this amount in dollars in euros like in other countries in western countries or you're going to you can if you're working as a caregiver or if you're working as a nanny you can get this job and then you can um you can do what you can change the job like you you can work maybe two three jobs in a day that is a total lie of course i'm not saying that it doesn't it it doesn't happen it happens but not in terms of being a nanny and let me tell you the agents who are telling you about caregiving jobs most of them they are referring to nanny jobs or maybe babysitting jobs and let me tell you working as a babysitter or a nanny even though it is one of the best way to actually make extra money because in Turkey they are actually like hot cakes like uh they pay well uh in, compared to other countries that I know maybe like in gulf countries for instance in gulf countries you might be getting i'm not sure right now how much maybe you can be getting around maybe 1200 i'm not sure tell me in the comment section how much are you paid in qatar or maybe in saudi or maybe in dubai uh maybe you can averagely you can make maybe 1200 uh, qatar lira in turkey if you convert that amount uh in kenya shillings i don't know how much it's gonna be but in turkey you can find that averagely you can get be paid around let's just say minimum uh 500 dollars or maybe if you get someone better especially if you have experience here in turkey you can make even up to 1500 uh dollars okay but that is if you you have the experience if you have the resident permit if you have good contacts okay uh good connections you can get that amount even the filipinos here they are being paid a lot of money and also good amount now this is uh just to tell you or maybe i want you girls especially my african girls when you are looking for this kind of job don't just settle for less this is my my message to you don't settle for less because let me tell you working here in turkey is it is a good experience it you're going to earn your money but it's not the same experience as working in gulf countries i have worked in gulf countries and I, of course i have worked one of the job that i did in gulf countries was nanny job and let me tell you kids in or maybe working as a nanny in gulf country is totally different than working here of course here you have freedom in terms of actually what you wear in terms of what you can do in terms of after your work you have your free time your off day you can do you can go wherever you want you still own your passport uh you can eat whatever you want and you can do a lot of time a lot of things even study okay 
but in Gulf country mostly you are restricted because you some girls work without uh, without off days some girls work under strict conditions in terms of what they eat in terms of what they wear you have to wear uniforms you have to do decent things you have to cover your head in Turkey there is nothing like that but when it comes to the kids in Turkey the kids have a say they can fire you I'll tell you a story of one of the girls that actually came here through me and this girl what happened was of course the family paid for everything for her she came she did an interview with them and then prior to that we processed her visa and then she came here she had a very good family that were actually loving the family wanted her to actually live here with, with them they even started processing her resident permit but one mistake the happen that led to her being fired was because of the child or for, because of the kid what happened was you know this issue whereby kids have in Turkey kids have this tendency of um, saying that oh she's in a bad mood you have to respect her or she's gonna have a, a physiological problems or maybe you're gonna you know they, they give that prior priority to kids in that even the kids they can do whatever they want they can get angry at you they can throw stuff at you and then you are not allowed to talk you are not allowed to actually um, punish not punish but discipline that child because it's not your own child so what happened to this lady was that the child while she was perfect the family loved her she was doing amazing job she was cooking she was cleaning she was paid she she was given everything by the family and the family who really wanted her to stay but let me tell you the child what happened was that one day not one day the child had the tendency of actually if you want if we want something you must give her if you don't give her he gonna throw stuff at you he gonna beat you he gonna pinch you so what happened was that the child took a pillow you know like this pillow and then he started beating uh, beating the girl beating the girl the first time the lady the the nanny maybe thought maybe this is just maybe because of the child like it is childish okay he he she thought maybe he gonna change and uh, because she was new maybe she was not used to her to her so he thought like that and then the following days the same thing happened when he wants something he throws himself down he pinches the, the lady he does like this and mark you He's, he, this boy was not a big boy like uh, maybe 12 years he was under maybe I think around eight to seven years and one day the girl the lady the nanny got really angry or maybe got really tired of these kind of things because he wanted to teach this child that it is wrong to do this because when someone is throwing pillow on your face you don't know what what will happen maybe the pillow will fall on you or maybe one day he's gonna take something sharp and throw it to you so what happened was while they were interacting uh, the, the the nanny taking a pillow uh, the, the child taking a pillow throwing on the on the boy like um no the boy taking a pillow throwing uh, to the nanny the nanny reacted he took the same pillow and then he actually uh, not like beating the child but telling her stop this is wrong stop stop you know we have the CCTVs and uh, uh, the child started crying out of nowhere started crying and falling down and saying that the nanny has beaten her too much on the head you know the father the, the 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 mother and the father when they came they looked at the city cctvs and they saw that they were fighting actually there was some commotion what happened was that during that day during that night the lady was fired because of that simple mistake and it was caused by the child because the child has a say and then he received he was called like we cannot continue working with you because uh we have seen that the child doesn't like you and you are you are actually you have beaten the child uh we just want you to go in peace so that is how she lost the job and she had to find a way to connect back and tell me the story and because that time was really rough for her and we had spent a lot and the family actually was good uh, they actually even offered to book a flight back to Istanbul but from Istanbul to wherever she wanted to go because she had to say that she's going back to Kenya uh, and then we organized she had to come and find another place to actually start working so that was 
that was just one scenario or maybe one story that I, I can share with you. I have a lot of stories that if you guys want me to share some of the stories, especially for workers here in Turkey, I'll do so. Uh, I just wanted to emphasize on the issue of a child. Like children here, they have a big say. If a child says something, they're going to follow that. The parents here are like, ha, ah, she's a child. You have to respect her. You have to do whatever the, or whatever the child is. Of course, I'm not, I'm not denying it. I'm a parent. I have two kids. I'm raising them here by myself, like uh, all the time with them. And I know how difficult it is handling kids. But that too much spoiling the kids and not actually uh, telling them, disciplining them and telling them you have to respect even if it is you and nanny, you have to respect them. It is not too much here. Okay, just a few parents who do so, but they tend to believe that the nanny is someone who is like, uh, she can just do whatever uh, the child says to do. They give the first priority to the kids, okay? And um, I have also seen that some parents don't want to actually nannies who are like telling the child this is wrong or some stuff like that. And about, or maybe coming back to your questions about the salaries here, like I said, something you have to bear in mind is that the salaries of let's just say nannies because i don't know if we have specific um roles in terms of actually caregiving because even a nanny job is maybe nearly the same as maybe nearly but not the same so you have to understand that the city you are living in will determine your salary in terms of actually how much are you going to be paid because these big cities like Istanbul, Ankara, Izmir, you know, they pay a lot more than other cities, small city cities, okay? And also depends on your employer. Some employers depend, uh, pay a lot of money in even in, in dollars, sorry, and others don't pay a lot and they want to actually, especially if you are African, they want to actually take advantage of you if you're just new. Something else you have to understand it is about the language and also the, 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 the qualifications in terms of the, your profession, like how long have you been working, the experience wise. And talking about the language, uh, at least you must be knowing some ta Turkish basics. Some families want like that. Sometimes some families don't mind and they even want you to teach their children some extra English. Okay. So if you're coming to do those kind of jobs, make sure to ask them, what are my roles? What am I going to do? Because here in Turkey, mostly, and I have seen most Turkish employers, they value cleanliness more, 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 more. So most of the time you will be cleaning, doing stuff, all those kind of stuff okay like in terms of cleaning you have to be highly uh, equipped in terms of actually uh, making sure that you're gonna be cleaning a lot a lot and also something else it is in terms of actually part-time jobs part-time jobs they are paid less compared to the full-time jobs like they live in uh, nannies who are actually uh, going to be doing these kind of jobs okay so if you are saying that an agent told you 150,000 uh, Kenyan shillings to come here, it can be uh, like I'm not trying to tell you what to do and also I'm not trying to uh, tell you don't use an agent because agents help in terms of actually connecting you from where you are to the employer. So depending on their charges, they might, if you are okay, you can pay it. If you feel like you don't need to pay it, then you can do it on your own, which I know you might be also, you might, you might um, pay the same amount in terms of actually, uh, even if you don't use an agent, because you have to remember if you're coming on your own, remember you will spend on flights, you will spend on your uh, visa, which is mostly maybe even equivalent to that amount. But something i have to note or i have to emphasize is that these agents make sure are you coming on a touristic visa or are you coming on a work permit visa because let me tell you uh, in turkey uh, if you don't have a resident permit yes you can work a lot of girls are working like that but don't be in that position whereby you just want to risk everything of course it is good to risk but in terms of government wise you're gonna face a lot of problems even traveling from one city to another you have to hide you have to do this the police especially if you're living in Istanbul people in Istanbul will tell you how police hunt them how police will actually be looking at you and want to check if you have the uh, resident permit they call it Kimlik 
uh, it is the same way if you have the uh, resident permit uh, if you have the work permit you don't need another uh, national ID you don't need it it is the same as the resident permit so just make sure that you are coming on the right track uh, using the right uh, visas so that you don't get in trouble especially if you're new if you don't know anyone here in turkey and sometimes a lot of you who normally ask me question or who normally want me to connect you sometimes you think that turkey if someone uh, you are coming to turkey we can meet we cannot meet i cannot help you directly the reason being turkey is a very big country it's not like a small country it is a very big country with the large cities like izmir is a big city Okay, so if you are coming, maybe your work is in Istanbul, it is almost uh, seven hours from uh, Istanbul to Izmir by, by car, okay, unless if I take a flight, which is something that cannot be done, okay, because I also have my own things and sometimes I'm not here. Uh, so it's it's a little bit challenging if you tell me oh you are in Turkey and then when I ask you where are you, you tell me you are in Istanbul, I cannot help you, you know. Otherwise, I hope I have answered your questions. If you just wanted to know the amount of caregivers, and remember, like I said, caregivers might be in different forms. Are you talking about the nannies? Are you talking about the babysitting? Are you talking about just general caregiving jobs, like caring for the elders? If you're talking about that one, it is very unlikely that you won't get that job because in Turkey, mostly in terms of medical staff, there are restrictions uh, for foreigners. And you have to make sure that you also understand the language. And of course, we have private agencies who are hiring in that sector, but it's nearly impossible unless if you're talking about nannies and babysitting and dog sitting, dog walking, house sitting, stuff like that. Otherwise, for ladies, I think they, I, they have a chance to work in Turkey, but for men, it's a little bit uh, complicated. It's not that easy. I'll see you next in my next video. If you have any questions, if you're liking my content, you want to hear more, you want us to talk more, you want us me to do more videos about these kind of uh, jobs, please let me know in the comment section and I'll be so glad to make a video regarding the same. Otherwise, I wish you all the best and uh, I'll see you next in my next video. Bye.